exactly what he can do. Like, Vessel is going to be really nice versus the aura items that the Darkseid is going to build. Speaking of the Darkseid, Collapse. Might actually give up our first blood. They're going to have a, a bunch of slows with the blood grenades. Another round of the Rocket Barrage shortly. And KJ is going to draw first blood. Maybe some damage onto Mira. I think this is ambitious to get the kill, but... Ooh, you bring him down low. You can maybe play against that with disruption. Every time Inkswell goes on, you disrupt. Yep. I wonder how the matchup changes as well with the Dragonite in the side lane as Maposhka is actually going to get run down. Once you see the banishment is actually used onto Schofield, it means Divai Lama has got nothing to fear about his trample being cancelled. So, by the way, so that's another reason why Lina is mid. 20 last hits, 11 denies. Not a good time for Koro. Yeah, not a good time at all. Top lane once again, Yator. Looks like there'll be a return kill from either side. Inkspell is going to connect. Divai Lama needs one more. Horned hits, apparently. Just a headbutt. Sort of a smack of the wrist or something like that. So, I love I love the animations in Dota, like how we have some random leg kick and whatnot, toss back on the Luna bot lane. Oh, they're in trouble with the TP rotation. They might both die on Spirit if they don't get quickly get the kill into K1, which they will. But it's not going to matter in the end. Another round of the Rocket Barrage, and this was exactly what I was speaking about inside the draft. Those two, maybe they'll even try and hunt Analog down. They do have a nice Observable that did just expire, but potentially they can frustrate Analog, maybe even take his hard stack. Oh, bottom lane, okay. Apologies, Collapse is going to go down as well. So this should maybe be a bit of a signal for Analog. I actually don't even bottom. Probably going to be concerned for him. They're going in. Gonna dive in he though. didn't know. Yeah, he didn't see. LSA. Plus back into the LSA. There's no There's Dragon Slave though. Not enough damage. Gyro. Oh man, KJ. Dude, KJ. Alright. He's rich. Like he's Omega rich on this Gyrocopter. They're making a lot of stacks on uh, the dire side as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, Heroic. Playing incredibly fast, and look, not even required really for that kill. And I mean, see, Maposhka was starting to, to move mid to get some vision set up to potentially dive the call. Cofield will be there to at least snatch some of this uh, experience. But he is counted. Can they connect on the stun? Let's see. Wait, oh, the Vilama actually wants to go in. Spies a bit of a freebie onto Maposhka. So there will be a exchange in the end. Yeah, but a pretty nice one, right? Like if no Greaves, no Pipe, uh, Dominator instead. Mm. We discussed this item quite a lot. Like it's yep. much better now, I feel like, with the gold that it's giving you. Mid lane? Oh, mid lane would be a huge kill. And they should be able to get it. Divide Llama looking to assist his team. <laughs> yeah. All right. So... <laughs> Like, what is that damage? And it's just, it's got to be the case on every single hero they run into. They literally had, uh, OG had the same experience. Bot lane, Mira. They had the same experience last game in which, um, like, you you do have Lina, you have Vacuum Wall once Darkseer hits a couple of extra levels. Not for now, though. Collapse might fall again first. Oh, my God. Nice call down placement as well from KJ. Mm. How do you how do you feel about the lean of this game though for for Lal? Because at least how I look at it, I feel like if we can get to the late game, are they really going to go for the kill on KJ? It's got a shield rune. It's a good carry to carry matchup. Like if you can get to the late game, it's actually pretty good. Mira, oh, Mira. Oh, he's got Divine Lal marker in his face. Let's use the Hurricane, but. They're not going to pay off in the end. Yeah, I, I, I really know. It's just a question like they may take way too much map before the leaner is really a big threat. And it's seeming like that might be the case because Analog yeah, and KJ. This is deep though. Collapse is ready for the vacuum under the T2 tower. Back won't even look to go for it now. They'll split away. Divide Lama gets a bit of a glimpse onto Lal and they're going to dive and look again at the burst. Anyone reveals himself for a split second. They are blown up from four to zero. 
I mean, even Yator is rotating. I think Blink is getting delivered on the courier, but unfortunately, it's just a couple of seconds too late. Heroic have already repositioned. They're going in. Oh, besides K1, he's got a big one. Eclipse as well, but the boys playing behind him. They're going to turn it. Well, there's nothing they need to worry about. by for the double pulverize heroic. Welcome Dude. to the massacre. What's happening to Spirit? This is just insane. And also, that won't happen. Does look like, oh, they're actually slip plus mirror and they're going to be able to run into Lull. An incredible smoke from Heroic. I mean, the conversion from them so far this game, all their movements are just paying off. The Vai Lama is just on point. And then he. This is. Uh, yeah, I, don't I don't know what they're going to be able to do. He's dead as well. And instantly you see the Kotl coming in. Instant. Oh boy. This is not the ideal way <laughs> and how you'd like to start your tournament, unfortunately for Spirit. I mean, let's see, this is I've always praised Spirit and I think a lot of people have that this is probably one of the best. Yeah. Because Mira. I'm not sure what the plan was. Mm -hmm. Dark Collapse is gonna run in. The Phantom's Embracer for the Tiny is so frustrating. So, Wall is going to be used. Claps is trying to run down Schofield. They're going to be cautious if they step a bit too far over. The backstab is coming from Analog, and now Divai Lama just sums back in. You'll cancel the Pulverize, but it, oh, it's just, it just doesn't matter. Yeah, they're, they're being crushed right now. And now, lol, yeah. KJ with the Invis, or Glimmer Cape, in fact, he, he's running This could be a solo kill. No way he's going to solo kill him. Okay, bit of an awkward cooldown usage. Analog is here, though. Yatoro is going to be able to slow him down. They got him. Divide Llama jumps out from nowhere. Now no, they're going to go for Yatoro as well. Quick timing onto the blink, but they're not done. They will hunt a TPR, any cancel. There will not be, but. Yep. Primal Beast goes, and the two of them, uh, they're a deadly duo. Yatoro again. Some people have to die. Unfortunately, it's your tour of this game that's going to be the space marker, space maker. It is all on Lau. How many Dagons do you buy on 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 Kotal? What level? Um, what level do you I'm get? Not, I'm not sure. <laughs> Couple of minutes going to get delayed. Mirror is going to be able to farm another wave down bottom. Lau over at the Ancients, getting close Can towards the catch BKB. collapse. Nice like they vacuum. Should be able to. Yeah. Embrace is also so annoying for the darks here. A lot of heroes that don't have too fun of a time into the pesky sounds, so Claps will go down. Did lane as well, they see Lal. KJ is in. Uh-oh. Analog's going to be able to TP. This time, the cooldown is much better position. Lal at least will be able to escape and doesn't have to use that freshly completed BKB. Dude, this all is without the gyro even get, having a shard. Like, with the shard... Yeah, they are going... My Pushkin's out. He's going to try and take those Lunar Illusions. It is K1, K1 up on the high ground. The rest of the team are not there. Are they going to be able to read this? And yeah, K1 has to pop a BKB because it now collapsed under the T2 tower. Collapse. They got him. Divai Lama just hit the buzzer. So close to being able to escape. But Heroic are in a great position to be able to get him. The final seconds or final moments, I should even say, of that teleport. Yeah, if they still had collapse. Absolutely no one showing anywhere on the map, so because of that, maybe it's a bit easier, but the wraparound will happen. Right, how can they start? Yeah. Do they really want to go on K1 with the Aegis? Smoke's going to pop. Maybe we'll get the Kitchen's jump from the support. Kill. That's not bad. That is not bad. Can they kill will though? make it really difficult, though. Lol has to use a BKB to just get the kill, and now it means it's a BKB where he's not retreating or, or right-clicking at all, because K1's going to be able to enter pretty shortly. And with the Eclipse damage, they should be able to continue to chase me. Well, Divine Lama. Lama also wants to catch up to Lal. Inside the river, though, K1 bike himself, collapse on your Toro. I mean, you're fighting to the Asia's advantage. K1 now has Analog to play with as well. They're going to be Dude. able to vacuum him back. Yeah, Dude, you did with the Aegis, but it doesn't matter in the end. Collapse. Oh, what's going on inside the base? Divine Lama he still didn't get is him. continuing to chase. Yeah, yeah, he still didn't get the Lina because of the region rune and the changes, of course. He's hitting her. I, I think it will get like we will see that shard though and then as soon as you come out of banishment you'll just activate the shard and 
you lose the illusions and all of a sudden the value of the SD is going to feel a little bit lackluster. Jump in your Toro. Well, they tried onto KJ last time. Looks like if they're able to bring him down before the Glimmer Cape, it'll be a bit easier. Now Devoy Llama's looking to enter. So, please, I don't know. It's looking messy with the pulverized mechanic with the, the soul bind, but regardless, it works out into their favor. Beyond godlike here for analog. Big Leipnir, so kinda ready to fight on Lina. Not really there, not as much as K1 though. Oh my. <laughs> Maybe you can jump in, make things. They gotta make sure they're not close enough so they get hit by it though. I don't know what the range is. Yeah, they they should know. They should know. They should, yeah, yeah, exactly. Do I love Look at that. God. What a read. Pulverize. They're all clumped up. And again, this is a defensive BKB from Lull. And now they are aware. Mirror's gonna Mira? try and get the jump. I mean, maybe Divine nice Lama, right? Doors. BKB is expired. That's a big target if they're gonna be able to kill him, but can they kill him is really the question, and they can't even. Glimmer Cape again protecting them all. It's such an awkward location for a fight. In this close proximity area, this is where Collapse should shine, but they're just <laughs> too far behind to get anything going. Illusions, KJ though. will still die. Now Yutora's gonna try and run out of the base. Yeah, those Luna Illusions that just wrecked KJ. Can't cross it. it. It's hard to uh, go one way or the other. Collapse. <laughs> Tight. Like, does he actually guess this? Let's see. See, I've. Okay, he went too early. This, I was gonna say, like, how do you guess? A a and yeah. how do you know? It it's kind of luck. It's also like, I guess you must have just played a ridiculous amount of Dota games to know. They're just not giving up. They don't care about... Uh, they don't have Megas. What am I on about? Like, they still have top lane. Okay. But they are defending. Why did I think they have Megas? I'm insane. Anyways, Mira is up. And so is Yat Yatoro. Goes back. Well, they're going to lose Mira, unfortunately, for his efforts. Oh, they sh might have the damage for KJ. Maybe the fireball Yatori well. can he get in range? Alright, they got him. Top lane. Stick around, apparently. Yeah, the creeps do take uh, the tower. I don't know why I thought they had megas, like something is uh, crazy. But okay, they do manage to defend. There is a rapier on Kotl, there is 50. Yeah. Siege with it if you want. They really don't have to commit anything. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh my lord. Oh, Luna is oh. in. Oh! oh <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the illusion. <laughs> oh, I did the my Lama doing this thing. Oh, Mirror jump in. Mimo as well. Lao. It's going to be okay, actually. K1 was a little bit hesitant to continue. Running down the lean up. Thrones exposed. They want kills. Or oh, they can win the game. Whatever they want. K1's going to turn to the ancient. Meanwhile, Dubai Lama just wants to, to add the, to the tally. It's a good vacuum, but there's no follow-up. Jeez, a cord spirit. Yeah, uh, not geez. the game they would hope to remember. Same time, uh, super defensive and K1. Look at this. He's dead. Yep. Well done. Telekinesis into the skew up. That's a big right click as well. Nice high roll and. All right. You know what I mean? Like you don't have this tied Mars something like that on the offlane. Instant Slardar Mira will die. Oh, he had the Lotus too. Huh. Okay. Oh, Morphic, Yatoro. Yeah, Toro. Toro. Oh my Ooh. god. And now actually they Scofield's might turn. in danger. Nice level up in the little shred is going to be able to deal with the missile. They also have a rotation out of KJ. He's going to zone Yatoro away. Oh, Pushka is dead. Yeah, uh, yeah, 100%. They're going to make sure they tank up on the Rock Barrage. Divai Lama gets the kill. Uh, this was a big bait. Like he had... A huge stick there. He had a fairy fire as well to work with Lotus Schofield. He looked like he's in danger, but he truly wasn't. And now with the enchantress, they can pressure this. Yeah, with him leaving, though, means that K1's gonna die. But yeah, they'll pressure your Toro. No waveform leveled up. They got the creeps to be able to tank up the tower. Maposhka is back alive. The Vi Lama actually. Okay, no mind. If they missed. That missile didn't go on him, so. I even thought that he might be able to go back in. Shield crash going your Toro. He might still do it. Look at this. Ooh. They're even looking at mid lane as well. Lol. In a lot of trouble with the rotation out of Schofield. Seems like they're lacking just a bit of damage. KJ. 
We'll be there with the enchant pretty shortly. It's a nice avalanche from Lau, but no one there to TP to, to utilize the, the stun lock under the tower, so... You know, we were, t we were talking to Lorenov yesterday, and uh, during the interview, Mira... Uh-oh. He's gonna die as well. During the interview, he said something like, the only problem that SEA had is they didn't play fast enough. Another just constant movement coming from Heroic, and it's not punished. The Poshka will try and steal this Wisdom Rune, though. Good scan from Heroic. I would have scouted my Poshka out. I'll deal with the missile once again with the little Shredder. Now Divide Lama's going to be able to get a free kill. Yep. They're, they're playing really well, man. I'm, they got the vessel already. And this is a huge kill. A, such an if. important kill. Collapse top net worth. you got to get him. Ooh, oh, my him. Lord. At the buzzer. He's even got an RP. To the oh, low you're ground. You're not making even. it out. You're Dude. not making it out, unfortunately. So that is a big cooldown. Now for Collapse. <laughs> and a really, really important kill as well for Heroic. Toss back onto the tower, but not enough damage here. Instead, Mira will maybe die. Yeah, I mean, also Lala as well. The White Llama with the Diffusal already, along with the Rolling Thunder. And it looks gonna connect, and... I don't know, man. This is starting to look very reminiscent of our previous game. Yeah, like, oh, 4 0 2. Just taking stacks now as well. This They're is not a good react. spot for them. Yeah, Schofield's gonna run into a couple. Does Analog get out though? Lam might be able to toss him back. Meanwhile, wait, Schofield. he's running in, Analog. Schofield's even gonna try and drop the kisses on his dying breath. It's a decent chunk Lar? of damage onto La with the vessel still applied. Is that... They're gonna get a return kill. Well done. And what what a good one as well. Troll now is joining in as well. K1. <laughs> Do they want the Ancients? Oh. It's a pretty big stack. It's daytime as well, just uh, very easy for them. They have a lot of vision. Your guaranteed stuns are not really an option. So maybe they're going to look to try and force down KJ some of the objectives. Mid. Collapse mid lane, KJ. Oh, he's fine though. Might maybe with baiting, Yatora yeah. here it's a bit of a different story. KJ, Parvis given over the last second. Rolling Thunder is stolen. But the kisses along with the Rolling Thunder, it's just a great Collapse combination. Gone. It's going to net them the kill onto Mag. Meanwhile, Lyle's still going to be able to reinitiate. Schofield leaps over the Rubik's Cube. And now this is looking scary for Spirit. Even K1's going to look to enter the fray. But Poshka wants to finish Kimplo onto Schofield. Is he even going to be able to get the damage avalanche just Control on the tip will secure it? But it puts Lyle in the compromised position where he had to edge too far forward. And that enabled Heroic to instantly turn it back around onto him. A four for one in the end. Or two, I should say. The Bounty Cave. Next to the Radiant Tier 2 Tower, there's a Bounty down the cliff. Mm, hold on. Collapse. Yeah, Enchantress. Jesus Christ. Um, fast. What? I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. Didn't look like an ensnare, though. Bottom lane. The White Llama set up onto Yotoro. I mean, it's going to try and play around with the Panko Replicate. It's not going to happen, though. They're all here. Spirit Vessel out as well. And Yotoro will eventually go down. I mean, this is an easy kill for Roic to be able to find and a great setup for the White Llama. In an RP, realistically, you can blow anyone up. If you manage to... Even, even the Stroll dies before he oh, K1. K1... Oh, is he going to get PKB off? Oh, he's too slow. This is a gigantic pick off. And now they're going to get another plus one as well. Dubai Lama might be able to get the ultimate. Nice stun from Yatora into the burst. All right. Team Spirit. Nice You're couple back, of catches baby. for them. Yeah, that's the that's the play, right? And look at... have wards to play with. All right, they're going to smoke. I know what on mirror. I just got some vision up. to be able to lay down. 10 seconds. Schofield, smoke pops. Oh, dude, that's Instant entry. D world. Divide Lama's gonna be in. A lot of hate from Maposhka. I don't know if they saw Mirror, though, before the Glimmer Cape. And now Divide Lama as well inside the bridge. They're actually gonna look to try and take the fight off the back of the buyback. Divide Lama's in a bit of an awkward spot now, but. Collapse. They're not gonna jump into. Oh, nice cookie! The cookie! Well done. Now, can you protect Divide Lama, though? 
Looks like Spirit hesitant. I mean, Blink still on cooldown for collapse. Maybe Bad they damage. can get it before the retreat on the other side of the bridge, but it's back to safety. Great. Of course, but they have smoke and uh, they aren't going to let this rush go. The heals are there from the Coddle, so rush really isn't doing any damage. And they clumped up. And Alok's gonna run into them first as well. This is a great pickoff, and they should be able to blow him up. Four to zero, and they get the Pango. Schofield's gonna be able to jump in now before the Archbishop shift. K1 rips apart your turret. Well, was gonna be caught as well, but the yours, unfortunately, once K1's ultimate expires, he'll be able to turn instantly back over towards the tiny. Mirror is here, but I uh, maybe Collapse can play nice the edge RP. of the team fight and find an angle for the RP with the both supports nearby. Collapse as well with a skill up, but you gotta be cautious of the rainbows. KJ's out of mana though, and Collapse. KJ I mean, he should be able to clean up. This, yeah. And this is a fight that Spirit are going to win with losing Yatora early on and Lal as well, but Collapse's Magnus once again. Mira might die here, actually. Let's see. He's going to have a nuke very soon in one second. Okay, he's good. Boop. When in doubt, pick Collapse Magnus. That's literally what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know with the shard. I think they got with a glimpse the, of that the agonics, smoke. Right? Yeah. There we go. In they jump. K1's going to be able to react to Lincoln's protection to Vylama as well. That's a huge rolling thunder. The chaos. RP's it there. might not work. Can K1's on my side, but he got the battle chance off. Last second ultimate from K1. Now he's going to be able to stand strong and get you. Taurus the damage enough. It's not. The Toro is somehow still alive. Wave form back to the base. And now you just gotta get out. Team Spirit, they buy back on Collapse. It. They will keep your Torah alive. Divide Lama and Enelik are actually oh, thinking about standing Marl? strong on the high ground. Divide Lama. Swash back into the middle. Collapse. No, the Will of Wisp. Not gonna matter. Skewer out into the grasping hands of your Toro. And with the crits raining down, they'll be able to kill Divide Lama as well. Yeah. They want to. They're recalling the troll. They might get Mira. Or well, they might get Lal instead. Wow, maybe. Lal just jumps straight on top of where Herova currently smoked, and that is a great pick off if they can kill him. BKB, Lal is out. Great yours from, I believe, Mira to be able to slow down K1. Still there on the hunt. K1's finally going to be able to catch up to the tiny, so Lal will go down. Where is your Toro? Morphling getting control to the northern side. Schofield's going to be able to land the cookie. Your Toro is still playing Completely with the ages. K1 might be in some danger. BKB already expended. Clash going to be able to find the RP onto 2K1 though. Activates the battle train. Stands strong. It's a die back on Collapse. Now the Hex is there as well. And once K1 is locked onto his target, all he's going to be worried about is Mutori turning back into the, the troll for the replicate. Now with that mischance, K1 cannot win the man fight. But there's another battle going on down to the south. Dubai Lama with the supports attempt to deal with Mira. They're going to do so successfully. Troll buyback. Operation Kite Yutoro. And he is out, attempting at a TP. There is no stuns to cancel it, however. Maposhka also will look to escape. The bash is there. Divai Lama clips him at the buzzer. Yeah, he run didn't up to the get north. the bat, Miposhka. Uh, I don't think you survived this, sir. Um, the bash didn't connect on the most important target, though. It didn't co connect on the Morphling, so he manages to TP out. Still has that Aegis. Uh, 420 extra seconds, though. It will die. And a lot top lane. Oh, what? the recall. No way. Again, K1 though with a mischance. He's at least got the epistle this time. Radiant don't have vital buybacks to be able to protect your Toro. Aegis about to it's expire. Five They're just going to wait. Oh no. I mean, they can probably kill him a second time. What do they got? Hex is back up from Analog. Cookie to start as well from Schofield. Perfectly placed. And now K1 as well. He's got all the further stacks he needs with the chain control. At least your Toro has got a buyback, but... <laughs> It'll fall fast. They're going to hear the roar, but they'll be too late, I think. Kisses oh, snap, to try to give snap. them the information. Yeah. Collapse. Oh, what a hex. What a hex for Analog. No way. Collapse is gone. They're going to be able to get no Collapse to the fight. That is a huge pick off. And now Roche as well, K1. That win condition, they had to potentially get the die back on Troll is not there for them now. What a reaction from Analog. Oh. Oh, that damage. Watch back potentially, lol. Hex once again from Analog. And now K1's going to be able to react in time. 
Battle no, bye, trades bye. out. Lowell is locked on. And without the Tiny, how are they going to be able to do a 3v5? 20 seconds until collapse. Lowell has got his timer back up in a couple of seconds, but he's just lacking the gold at the moment. He's going to respawn anyway soon. That bounty rune. Okay, one with the aggressive jump in. Collapse once again is going to be initiated on now with the Ignis Fartus. Or the AoE control. Collapse is gone again and he can't even get a spell off. Heroic. It took them a while, but Yatoru does not get him GG. a single right click off with the rape, right? 51 minutes in. Heroic will find the 2-0 over Spirit.